we we rub up against other people, you know, just like when you you have an amethyst or a rough crystal and they rub up against each other other to become smooth. That's what relationships are. Somebody else's unhealed place rubs up against your unhealed place. And the issue is, are you going to stay in the unhealed place or see it as an opportunity to see your unhealed place, often because they point it out to you, and surrender it? And to say, where I was harsh, I get that I'm harsh, dear God, make me gentle. Where I was needy, I don't want to be that. I don't want to lay that trip down on other people where I'm critical, where I'm whatever. Dear God, make me different. And you can't, like I said, you can't just analyze these things away. But you can surrender them, and God will take them from you. That's the function of the Holy Spirit. So if you go through this list of people, and in the places where you feel healthy shame, remorse, you know, only a sociopath has no remorse, where you say, wow, I bet that didn't feel good when I said that to them. Or, wow, I can see that I really didn't show up for that relationship. And you know, the Course in Miracles says every circumstance is a relationship. It could be work, it could be your marriage, it could be, it doesn't matter the form. And you realize that that was the value of the experience. It showed you the gap between how you've behaved and who you really are. And that's where something called the atonement comes in. You realize that I atone, I chose less than who I am. I chose to be and to express myself less than who I am, but I made that decision and I can choose again, and I choose again now. And I've seen the most amazing things in my life. It's like Spirit brings into my life people who demonstrate being in that area what I wasn't able to reach for. Everybody was, was wounded in our lives in different ways. So I might have it together in a way that you don't, but you have it together in a way that I don't because we had different childhoods, etc. But when you say, I'm willing, I don't know how to act that way. I don't know how to be the, the correct citizen, employer, employee, lover, friend, spouse. It's amazing once you're open and you say, I get that I'm not. I own that I'm not. I'm willing to admit and acknowledge my own character defects. Then the universe opens up and people arrive and books arrive and teachings arrive and experiences arrive and movies arrive and TV shows arrive and lyrics arrive that just cause these amazing ahas. And we change, and we grow. And it's this great mystery there because, you know, it's like the story of the prodigal son, that the father was more excited to see the son who had left and come home than to see the son who never left, or the way a bone that's been broken, sometimes when it comes back together, it's stronger than it was before. There is something about your personality that you develop in the places where you used to get it wrong and you had to work to get it right, it's really profound. And going forward, you will be different than you were before. And so there's, when we say, well, I blew it in this relationship or I blew it in that relationship, the Course in Miracles, first of all, says, all who meet will someday meet again until their relationship becomes holy. So even that person, this lifetime or another, I don't know. But also, whether it's, the same circumstance brought around, or it's another form of the circumstance in another town with other people, other circumstances. What will come back around again is your opportunity to get it right where you used to get it wrong. And the universe will compensate for your error. The Course in Miracles says that in any situation, in, in every situation, a miracle is possible because love works miracles. Where there is love, there are miracles. So where you put your armor up and didn't allow love to flow forth, you deflected a miracle. But the Course in Miracles says that that miracle is held in trust for you until you're ready to receive it. Mm -hmm.